strange looking LS. Huh. Welcome to this episode of Disrepair. We got a really cool truck to talk about today. Is this a 72? 69. It's a 69. Sorry, I don't know my Chevys that well, but I'll tell you what, this truck has some surprises in store for you. So I'd like you to meet, and this is Travis. Yes, sir. Travis just happened to park next to me today. So tell me about your truck, Travis. Bought it with bone stock. Somebody had taken and pulled a couple of accoutrements off of it that somebody had put on already, but it was bone stock out of Florida. It's, it's actually just the patina on this is amazing. So it must have been in some place not on the coast because it has no rust. Yeah, it, it originally it came out of Mississippi. Okay. The guy that I bought it from bought it out of Mississippi. Okay. Um, so I've got pictures of it where it was literally in the weeds when the guy pulled it out. It's crazy to think it's the same truck. So Travis is telling me that he basically built this whole truck himself other than, you know, buying the chassis and things. So this is all home built in your garage? With the exception of the paintwork which is matte clear mm -hmm. and interior. And then uh, I had a buddy help me build the roll bar in the intake. The original paint that we did a bunch of metal work on and cleared matte patina. Vastine's paint garage in Roy City did all the metal work and all the patina work on it, or the matte clear. Um, the truck's got no fake patina on it except the inner fenders for the rear and a little bit on the A-pillar. Um, then I put it on a roaster shop chassis at uh, Gap Racing build me a uh, roll bar and an intake. Forge line wheels. Uh, Kato's custom upholstery did a killer job on my seat and interior. Um, Justin with Circle J did my carpet because Kato's in Utah. I put the motor, eight speed transmission. It's got a uh, thousand horsepower Helifant. <laughs> thousand horsepower Helifant, not a Hellcat. Um, so how does she run? Funny fast. Funny fast? Yeah. Yeah, is it scary? Yeah. Man, I wish we could take it for a drive, but we're in a car show, so they probably discourage that. But this is an amazing truck. The engine compartment in this thing is just utterly amazing, stunning, like clean. But what made you put a Mopar engine in a Chevrolet pickup? It's a thousand horsepower, and I had it. Oh, really? Yeah. So just the thousand horsepower is enough. Yeah. What, I mean, you could have done that with an LS Turbo. But then I could walk around and see it in 20 different cars. Fair enough. Yeah, I really appreciate the different build on this and it just looks like it was made to put in there. You guys out there, your Chevy trucks, no more LS swaps, just Hemi's from now on. So this is the question Travis's truck begs me to ask. Do you love it or hate it? Personally, I think it epitomizes hot rodding. It shows how one man's idea can become something with good planning and perfect execution. You may disagree, and that's okay. That's hot rodding too. It leaves room for all comers. So what do you think is cool? Let me know in the comments below, and I'd love to hear your opinion. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.